my chit chat talking we're going to get started we got to do warm up and i'm just going to walk you through it it's going to go slow at first and then we speed it up so we're going to start with that circle in and then we're going to reach with the right arm but it's going to be a slow and then we're going to like i said we're going to speed it up let me get this volume up here All right, here we go. Oh, that hurts. Roll the shoulders back. Tall mountain pose. We're going to circle in nice and slow. All in eight counts. Here we go. Circle in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now reach the right arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reach left. Now speed it up. Right arm reach twice. Two circles. Left arm reach twice. Now slow squat. Slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squat slow. Now left leg. Now speed up here. Squat and lunge. Right left. Here we go. We're going to put those two pieces together. Circle and two reaches. Two circles and two reaches. Left. Now squat and lunge. Right and left. Again, right and left. Hips go back. Now high across. Step out, reach under. Cross and do the same thing. Cross. Cross. Now to the mat. Inhale up and fold. Release, relax. Bend the right knee. Bend the left knee. Come to a little squat and round up. Two circles. We're going to put it all together here. Two circles. Left arm. Now squat lunge. Feet are hip width apart. Take that right leg back, and take the left leg back. Again, right to left. Pull those elbows back, open the chest here. Now, high across to the right. Reach under twice, and cross. Cross. You're rounding the back and opening the chest, cross. Now, feet together, inhale, forward fold, half lift, release, relax, bend the right knee, bend the left, squat, and round it up, two circles, right arm reach, two circles, left arm, that squat lunge. Pull those elbows back. Again, right and left. Higher cross to the right. Reach under twice. And cross the feet here. Cross again. Round and open. Feet together, inhale, forward fold, half lift, release, relax here, bend the right knee, bend the left, squat or ball, round it up, good job, we're going to stop right there, so we're going to go into lower body, and then we're going to go into 
may feel power, and then we'll do flow. All right. Okay, here, here. This is an oldie, so an old round means before the new patterns came out. So there really is no pattern. There's going to be like eight moves we're going to do on that right side. Then we'll transition. And then we'll do everything, the same eight moves on the left side. I think it's eight moves. Here are your moves. So when we start out, normally we start with squats or something like that. We're going to start with a triple lunge. So your right leg is going to go back. And it's three, two, one, tap in. That's your first move. The second move is a single tap. And on the single tap, you're free to lift that knee. We're gonna be lifting the knee on a lot of the other moves too. All right, third move is you're going to lunge back, bring the knee up, extend, knee, and lunge. So if you're using a chair, we will, we will use the chair for flow. Um, but if you need it for your balance, you might want to turn it this way just so you have something to hang on to. But you're going to be kicking out, so you want to either kick out at an angle away from the chair so you don't hurt yourself. We're going to do everything on the right, so give it a little bit of time to switch this way when we get to the left. Okay, so that was the third move. Lunge, knee, extend, knee. Lunge back, knee, extend, knee. Next move is a triple bolt. So it's one, two, three, ball of the foot. One, two, three. You're just gonna tap the ball of the foot. Then we're gonna do singles. So it's gonna be ball, 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 ball. Then we're gonna do crunches. So a crunch, you're gonna bowl and then crunch the obliques here. So you add a little knee bend here as you're bowling. So you work that quad here and then you crunch your obliques here. Now, if you can't lift the knee, maybe you, have, you don't have that balance yet, you'll see me fumble all over this. Hang on to your chair and just lift the knee or not. You can continue with a bold tap instead of a bold lift. But the hands, if you're gonna lift, you want the hands here or here, and it doesn't have to be a big knee lift, just a little bit off the floor, okay? <laughs> we'll challenge your about so. Okay, next move, that's not the last move. Next move is a creeper lunge. So you just did here. You're going to creep, creep, creep together. So right, left, right, together. We're going right every time, okay? Then, together, then you're doing a side lunge, knee, back lunge, knee. Side lunge, knee, back lunge, knee. <laughs> okay, I'm not practicing this when it was like midnight. I wrote it down, I watched it several times, and my son was in the living room, I'm not gonna do this, and he's watching TV, and he's gonna get really mad at me. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'll practice in the morning. I know it's burning. 
Now bowl crunch, bowl crunch, bowl crunch. Keep going. <laughs> Woo, three for lunch to the right. Right, left, right, together. Two more. All right, lunge to the back. Knee, left side, knee. Lunge, knee, side, knee. Woo, here's our transition. Down and up. Or sweep the arms here. Everything is on the left. We're gonna start on the left side. Here we go, triple lunge. Three, two, one, tap. Lift if you want. All right, go into singles, eight singles. Tap and tap, lunge and tap. Or lunge and lift. Lunge knee, extend. Lunge knee, extend. Focus. <laughs> Woo, triple bow. Three, two, one, ball. Lower your squat, the more you're gonna feel it. Now eight singles, bowl, ball. Slowing this down just a little. Now bowl crunch, bowl crunch. Just tap the floor. If you don't have that balance, and if you just keep getting thrown off, just tap right here. Creeper lunge. Again, to the left. Left, right, left together. <laughs> Back lunge. Knee, side lunge, knee. Last one. Wide squats, down and up. Or sweep. Done. Woo! Yes. <sighs> yeah. Maybe you're on this side. It doesn't matter. You're going to step 
and your four knees. Okay. Then we have that hip rock. You're gonna fold and hip rock. Fold and crunch, fold and crunch. And you're stationary here, so you're just bending a little bit and then you're crunching to the side. And again, you don't have to bring the knee up, just tap the floor, okay? We're gonna go through it three times, maybe four, because this is an old run, it may be four. Uh, because if we do this just on the right, then we're, we're uneven on the left. So next time we have to do the left, somehow we'll work it in. I don't want you to be lopsided, okay? Here we go. Power squats are first, so you're going to have wide feet. And squat. Squat, clap, clap. Alright, travel a little with the kettle swing. Squat. Take that leg right behind your front leg. Take it out. 
You're going to lean as if you're taking off. You're going to circle up. This is our flight, when I say flight. Then we're going to go into a twisted low lunge. So I'm going to bring my chair in. First, I'm going to show you on the floor. Maybe you're at home and you, you're, uh, you're more comfortable with being on the floor at home. So the next move is a twisted low lunge. You can have the hand down here. You're opening the chest here. Your hand is stacked right over the shoulder. Or on the chair, you can use your elbow on the chair. We don't want to go that low either way. Then you're going to switch arms and legs and come into a half moon. So if you're here on the floor, you're going to drop that right arm, push off, and open the left side to the left with the left arm. This is your half moon. So chair, twisted low lunge, half moon. And you don't even have to bring the arm up in your half moon, you know, just to stay down in a three point balance. Okay, last move. You just finished your half moon. It's a connect to Atlas. So you squat, reach down, and then side bend to the right. All right, part two. You're here. Creeper lunge is next. So you're just going to swing the arms over and creeper lunge together. Four times, I'm cut it down to two. After the last one, you have a moving low lunge. So you're going to come here. This is low lunge, and it's moving. So your hips are going to go down and up. On the chair, same thing. You're just hanging onto the chair. Then you have a single leg dog. So this right leg that's forward is going to come up for single leg dog. You're going to bend the knee and open the hip and just keep the shoulders uh, straight to the ground. Okay, step in to pyramid. Pyramid, your front toes facing forward, the other one's angled out. Your hands over, you have an L distance under your uh, chin here, and your shoulders are pulled back. We're not rounding the back, we're squaring the back off like this, okay? So you pull those shoulders back as opposed to rounding it, being rounded, okay? On the chair, single leg dog, open the hip, step into pyramid, okay? I will try to do two with the chair and two without. We'll see, it just depends on what moves are hurting this neck area. I don't know if it's the neck, I don't think it's the shoulder, I think it's right here. Okay, let's do it. It's very, it's very slow. So we may try to put the two pieces together. Starting with that right leg forward, you're in flight. Distance in your base, I got my left heel off the ground. Circle up and forward to flight. Circle. 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 Stay low here. Twisted low lunge. Right arm is up. Left hand is either on the mat or elbow on the chair. Hold, hold, hold. Alright, we're gonna switch arms and legs. Half moon. Take your time getting into the pose. memories for ourselves. Hold. Circle. And lean forward. Circle. Twisted low lunge. 
at one time, twisted low much. You know I can get high at times. And then to Atlas, makes a slide to one of everything, one circle, twist in the last, half moon, connect to Atlas, hold, part two, three for lunch, feet together, three for lunch, to the left, Connect. Atlas to the left. 
So your right ankle is behind your left foot. You reach down and up. I got mixed up somewhere. Connect to Atlas. Reach down to Atlas. Two more. Now back to flight. Right leg is back. Circle. And lean. Circle. Twist it on lunge. Bring your right leg up, open to the right. Connect to Atlas. Reach down, reach to the left. Two more. Back to slide. The circle. My left arm is up. Now I'm going to bring my right arm up for half a minute. Dropping that left elbow. Connect to Atlas. Connect to Atlas. Back to flight. Circles. Circle. So line, twist it, right elbow down, left arm up. Now left elbow down for half moon. Or hand down in the back. Connect to Atlas. Connect to Atlas. Back to flight. One circle. Twist it low lunge. Half moon. Connect to Atlas. Connect to Atlas. Flight. One circle. Twist in the lunge. Half moon. She's okay. Right arm is up. Connect to Atlas. Connect to Atlas. We're going to part two. Creeper lunge to the right. Two more. Step out nice and wide. Push off with that right leg coming in. Low lunge. It's a moving low lunge. So either on the chair, on the floor, it's down and up. Down and up. Check your knee. Off. Your right leg, your left leg comes up, it opens and pulse the heel and the ankle together. Bring that leg into pyramid. Hinge over. Keep the back flat. Keep the L distance under your chin. You're looking just a little ahead of your feet. Feet together. Creeper lunge. One more. Moving low lunge. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. Single leg dog. Open that hip and pulse. Step through the pyramid. Open the hip here. Nothing really 
Thank y'all for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, have an awesome, awesome week. It's a Monday, so I'm glad you didn't skip a Monday. But have a great rest of the week. Stay blessed. See y'all soon.